Hi everyone, welcome to my day. And just look what's behind me. Yes, I'm in the editing room. Now that I revealed to you the latest editing room tour, I can now record up here, which makes my life so much easier because I spend a lot of time editing videos. So over the past few weeks, whilst I've been putting the editing room together, I've had to be really careful not to reveal anything before that video went up at the weekend. But anyway, you'll see that I'm editing a video on this screen here. I was very busy yesterday recording and I've been working on a video that has been a long time coming. In fact, I think I probably get asked quite regularly, probably on a daily basis, I get somebody asking me, where is the late 2013 Mac Pro review? Yes, the late 2013 Mac Pro that I unboxed months ago. Well, it's one of those products where I certainly didn't want to rush a review and I really wanted to use it thoroughly and integrate it into my working setup. And I've used it every single day since. And wow, without doing any spoilers on the actual review, for the most part, and there is a few negatives, but for the most part, it's very, very good news. Now, I've been editing that video behind me for about two or three hours now. It's probably one of the longest edits I've, I've done. And I think it's purely because of the amount of information in the video. I wanted to make sure it was very accurate and it took a lot of jump cuts to get my mistakes out because I made quite a few mistakes whilst I was talking. But anyway, there's gonna be a couple of versions of the Mac Pro review. There's gonna be one that goes up on the YouTube channel, also a special edition version as well for patrons only, which has just got extra information in it. And um, I just hope you enjoy it. You know, I've put a lot into it and I think it'll give a good insight into whether the late 2013 Mac Pro will be the right decision for you or whether you should be looking at something else. You know, should you be looking maybe at a MacBook Pro or should you be considering an iMac? You know, there's nothing worse in my mind than wasting money and buying something that is just too much of a computer for what you do. That's not good use of funds. So hopefully when that video goes up, probably in about a week's time, something like that, hopefully it'll be very useful for you. So the rest of my day is to complete my editing. I've probably got about another, I would say another three hours of editing here. I'm gonna obviously take a break in between the editing uh, sessions, but about three hours total to get both this video ready and also a client video as well. Now I like to give you updates from time to time on the equipment I'm using. You'll see front and center there, that's a little calibrator. I've been doing a review of that. That'll be on the channel soon. I'm still using this dual screen setup. So the Apple Thunderbolt display and this LG ultra widescreen monitor, 34 inches. And again, there'll be a separate review of this on the channel very soon too. But I just wanted to give you an update to, just to say that I'm absolutely loving it. You know, if you're waiting for my review to try and decide whether to buy one of these for video editing, it is amazing to use. Four, eight, 12, 16, oh my goodness. Hmm, I wonder what all of those hard drives are for. So I've managed to get all of my editing done and then I also had to pop out and do a courier run, I had to pick up a parcel. And I just could not believe the weather. I went out in a t-shirt, I got in the car, I was about 10 minutes down the road, the skies opened and it absolutely poured with sheet rain. So, so much rain. By the time I got up to one of the junctions where there were traffic lights, there's like a curb stone, which must be about, I don't know, say about three inches in height. And the water was over the top of that curb stone. Could not believe it. It was such bad weather. And where did it all come from? Because 10 minutes later it stopped raining and the sun was out never makes sense to me these days, it really doesn't. The weather is so unpredictable, especially in the UK, I don't know what it's like where you are, but I just find that you can't tell whether it's gonna be sunny, rainy, windy, hot, cold from one minute to the next, absolutely crazy. Also, I took a delivery of a promotional product. Very, very excited about this because it's been a long time in planning and I'm gonna record a video probably Friday I'll record the video, edit it over the weekend or maybe Monday, Tuesday and then share it with you next week. Superb product, I'm so pleased how it turned out and you're going to be able to get involved as well. It's a mystery again, I always do that to you lately. Anyway, I'm currently cooking, I'm looking at the pans on the stove at the moment and this is what we are cooking tonight and yes, it is the predictable meal. 
it is spaghetti bolognese so the meat's almost done that's been cooking for about an hour and then I'm just boiling some water to cook some pasta in so thank you very much for watching don't forget leave some comments below and try and guess what those four terabyte hard drives are for I'll see you all again in the next video Thank you very much for watching my video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, there are two places you can find the subscribe button. On the main channel page, it's just up here in the top right hand corner. If you're on a video watch page, then you'll find it just underneath the video you've been watching. Click on the subscribe button and that means that you are now subscribed to the Geekanoids channel. But there is one more step you must take. Click on the little cog icon next to the subscribed button put a tick in the send me updates box and click save. Job done. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you next time.